Did you know? The EPA will start the cleanup of the Sulfa Bank mine site, one of the largest investments in American history, to address the legacy pollution that harms the health of the communities and neighborhoods. The cleanup will be done in two phases. The first phase will take three years of active construction to be completed, and then one year of monitoring the effects of phase one. In this phase, contaminated waste and soil will be covered with a liner, clean earth and clean soil to make residential areas safe for lifetime use, prevent contamination from leaving the site, and make on-mine areas safe for use by residents. The second phase will take another two years of active construction and will follow the monitoring period of phase one. During this phase, the aim will be to limit mercury entering Clear Lake, so that mercury levels in sediments and fish can decrease over time. Once the cleanup is complete, the EPA will monitor the area to ensure that contaminants are no longer present and the site is safe for human use. This may involve regular testing of the soil and groundwater to ensure that the cleanup was effective and there is no further issues with pollution. The EPA will continue to work with the community and stakeholders to ensure the site remains safe and usable for generations to come. In my discussions with the EPA, I proposed the idea of moving some of these historical buildings like the one behind me to another location to preserve them. The EPA was intrigued by this idea and open to considering it as part of their cleanup plan. If you share my interest in preserving the history of Sulfa Bank Mine, your comments and support could turn this proposal into fruition. The total cost of the cleanup is estimated to be $67 million and will be supported by the bipartisan infrastructure law. If you have any comments or concerns about the proposed cleanup plan, you could submit them by commenting on this video with EPA in front of your comment, and I will compile them into an email and send them to the EPA on your behalf. Or you could submit them to the EPA until April 10th of 2023. You can email comments to EPA's Gavin Pulley or Carter Jessup, EPA Community Involvement Coordinator, or leave a voicemail at 800-231-3075. The EPA will consider all public comments before making a final decision on the cleanup plan, which is expected to be completed within a year of the close of the public comment period. Thank you for watching and be sure to follow for more Lake County historical videos.